Well, using mosquitoes mm -hmm. to combat mosquitoes. I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like the plot of a science fiction movie, though. And, Pat, it's actually part of a pilot program <laughs> L.A. County's Vector Control District is rolling out to combat what they call a growing issue. KCAL News reporter Gio Insignaris live in Santa Fe Springs with details. Gio. Well, Juan, Pat, talk about innovation when you're looking at this and seeing the innovation, the technology that the Greater LA County Vector Control District is using to combat this issue is something they say is going to take weeks, perhaps months, to finally see the full effect of. A battle with insects in LA County and the innovative tool being used in this fight is another form of the same insect. We are targeting a species that's, that's responsible for transmitting some really nasty diseases. So we're looking for a novel way in which we can that will aid us in our fight. The target, invasive Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, also known as yellow fever mosquitoes, which the district says have rapidly spread across LA County in the last decade. The technology used by the district to tackle this issue is called sterile insect technique, or SIT. And in this case, it involves one particular approach. So what we do is we use x-ray um, technology to sterilize male mosquitoes, which don't bite. Uh, and then those will be released out and, and to mate with wild females. The reason behind this method is because the target mosquitoes are resilient to common pesticides. They lay their eggs in small, hidden water sources in people's front yards, backyards, patios, and elsewhere, areas where mosquito control agencies can't easily access. According to vector control officials, SIT will help reduce the population of these mosquitoes and reduce the possible threat of tropical diseases like dengue fever, chikungunya, Zika, and others. We're looking to try to achieve a ratio of sterile male to wild males uh, in, in that area of right around 7 to 10 to 1. It's a plan we've seen executed elsewhere with West Valley Mosquito and Vector Control. The males are raised and sterilized in a lab with x-ray machines like these. The released male mosquitoes can't bite and can't spread diseases, but can achieve the plan's goal. Once that happens, then those males will die. Um, so what eventually happens, again, those, those females, once they mate with one of our sterile males, uh, any sperm that she collects, then uh, she will then store for all of her batches of eggs. Uh, and, but again, if she's mated with one of our males, then any of those eggs that she lays would not be viable. And, and we're not going to see any adults emerge as a result of that mating. The male mosquitoes will be released within the areas on this map, which include the neighborhoods of Alpine Village and Seven Hills in Sunland Tahunga. It's not meant to be an overnight solution, but one that Vector Control has high confidence in moving forward. While they may see a few extra mosquitoes flying around, they're, they're, we're not going to be adding to the biting pressure that they're experiencing. Hopefully, in the next couple of months, we're, we're actually going to be reducing that bite. It's going to look worse before it gets better. The first release of these sterilized male mosquitoes is scheduled for tomorrow. The plan moving forward is to continue these weekly releases from now through October of 2024. Based on the program's success, the district hopes to expand it to other areas as well. Reporting live in Santa Fe Springs, I'm Gio Insignares, KCAL News.